IBM Operational Decision Manager is a tool that provides a development environment and user interface for automating and governing business decisions. Urban Code Deploy can orchestrate the deployment of rural apps alongside other application components for complex multi-platform deployments. Let's get started with today's demo. In this demo, we will use Urban Code Deploy to extract a rural app from Decision Center, store the artifact in Code Station, and deploy it back to Rural Execution Server for updates. Before we begin, make sure you have followed all of the prerequisite documentation to ensure your plugins run properly. First, we will create a component in Urban Code Deploy with a name that matches our rural app in Decision Center. We specify the source configuration type as IBM ODM. We will connect ODM URL, our ODM data source, found on the ODM server, the rule app name that we will be deploying, the credentials to authenticate to the ODM team server, the name pattern for versioning the component in UCD, and the number which are set by default. Next we will select the version tab to import a new UCD version. This will pull our rule app from Decision Center into our repository. We can specify an existing ODM baseline or snapshot from ODM, or we can leave this field blank to pull the latest and create a new baseline or snapshot on the ODM server. Running the process, we see that our jar file has imported with the rule app name plus dot jar as the title. Now we will head over to our component process to prepare for deployment to the rule execution server. Our component process will contain these steps. A download artifacts for placing our jar in our working directory. We will create a deploy rule archive step. Within this step, we must enter the ODM hostname and port number, the credentials to the rule execution server that we are deploying to, the name of the archive to deploy, now we must set a merging and versioning policy to deploy the rule app archive. If we leave these at none, we are able to specify the manual values to deploy a rule set archive. This is determined by your repository and what you are trying to deploy. They are more specifically defined in the ODM API. For this case, we are just deploying a rule app. The options for merging and versioning determine how our rule app will be versioned in the rule execution server. If we select Add at End options, we will increment the version number based on the previous version. The Major Minor option determines which number iterates. For instance, if we select Major and 1.0 exists, 2.0 will be created. If we select Minor and 1.0 exists, 1.1 will be created. For this demo, we will be selecting Replace, which will replace the previous version of the Rule app on the Rule Execution Server. Now we will create a set property step. First we will enter the hostname and port number used in the previous steps, our username and password to the rule execution server, the resource path which is defined by our rule app name slash rule app version number that we will be deploying, a checkbox to create a new property if one does not already exist, and the property name and the property value to be set. Now we will click OK and save the process. In order to run the deployment, we will now create an application and an environment. We must add our agent to the environment. Now add your component to your application. We will create an application process to install the component using the default settings. Now we can run the process on our new ODM environment.
Once the process succeeds, we can go to our rule execution server and see that the rule app has deployed.